Is the Andromeda Galaxy causing problems for the Milky Way? Some of the most fascinating events in the universe are galaxy mergers. Supernovas and black hole collisions both have a cool aesthetic. Galactic mergers, however, offer all of that and more. The massive collision of the Milky Way galaxy with the nearby Andromeda Galaxy, predicted by NASA astronomers, will have a profound effect on our galaxy, Sun and solar system. What transpires when two galaxies meet? Do you think it would be pleasant to live in the middle of a merging galaxy? Or would everything perish in the process as the stars pass one another? Let's find out. There are some really amazing things that gravity can do in the cosmos. When the invisible force isn't making sure that your coffee spills directly onto your shirt here on Earth, it's busy creating objects out of cosmic matter, such as smashing entire galaxies together, transforming clumps of rock into spherical planets, and converting gas and dust into brilliant new stars. A large galactic ball is formed as gravity pulls galaxies toward one another, sometimes two, sometimes more, until they collide, their contents sloshing and blending as a result. These so-called mergers have been seen by astronomers at almost every stage of the process. Initially, the galaxies appear to be gathered for a crucial space meeting when they are grouped together, when gravity has started to stretch them out of their natural shapes in the thick of it. And after all is said and done, a chaotic sphere is what's left. By that time, the orbs surrounding faint star material shimmer is the only indication that there had once been a merger. Due to the gravitational attraction of the surrounding dark matter, collisions between galaxies in close proximity to one another continue to occur despite the universe's expansion and acceleration. Such encounters between galaxies were more frequent in the past, when the universe was smaller, according to the deep views of the universe provided by the Hubble Space Telescope. Astronomers on Earth have found that our galaxy is on the verge of a violent merger which could change the universe forever. The Milky Way and Andromeda, our huge spiral companion, will collide in the future. The galaxies won't last in their current form. In actuality, the solar system will outlive the galaxy. The Sun won't be a red giant star by that time, but it will have gotten bright enough to scorch the Earth's surface. However, remaining life forms will be treated to some pretty amazing cosmic choreography. The Milky Way and Andromeda are currently two and a half million light years distant. The two galaxies are rushing toward one another at 402,000 kilometers per hour, propelled by gravity. The two galaxies will then smash into one another and pass through it, leaving behind gaseous starry tendrils in their wake. A team of astronomers studied the motions of nearly 7,500 stars in the inner halo of the Andromeda Galaxy, also known as Messier 31, M31, and found patterns in their positions and motions that indicated how these stars originated as a component of an earlier galaxy that joined M31 about 2 billion years ago. The universe is a dynamic realm, even though the night sky may appear to be static. Over the course of cosmic history, smaller galaxies like M31 and our Milky Way served as the building blocks for larger galaxies like M31 and our own. Andromeda is currently only visible as a tiny dot in the night sky, but in a few years it will be entangled with our planet. The spiral arms of our galaxy and the supermassive black hole will vanish. Our own black hole, which has a relatively small mass of 4 million suns compared to the central black hole of Andromeda at 100 million suns, will be quickly sucked into it. It will be over with a bloop. Now, how in the world can we know that this will occur? Beginning in the early 1900s, astronomer Vesto Sleifer determined that the Andromeda Galaxy's radial velocity or the rate at which it was traveling toward or away from Earth. Sleifer accomplished this by searching for a recognizable compression or stretching in the Andromeda light that reached Earth. Light from objects moving away from us is slightly stretched or redshifted. The light coming from objects moving towards us has been compressed or blue-shifted. The outcome was quite unexpected. 
we may conclude that the Andromeda Nebula is approaching the solar system with a velocity of about 300 kilometers per second, Slipher wrote in the Lowell Observatory Bulletin in 1913. Because scientists weren't aware that Andromeda wasn't a component of the Milky Way back then, it was referred to as a nebula. Slipher's computation strongly suggested that notion needed to be revised. Andromeda was clearly heading in our direction at this point, at least. It was still unclear if its arrival would signal the Milky Way's demise. For many years, it was unknown whether the Milky Way and Andromeda would crash directly or if they would pass one another like star-filled ships in the cosmic darkness. It turns out that determining the sideways motion of distant objects, or what astronomers refer to as their proper motion, is significantly more challenging than determining their velocity as they move toward or away from us. When something is far away, it becomes more difficult to quantify its sideways velocity, since it doesn't create the recognizable stretched or compressed wavelengths that astronomers can use. Instead, astronomers rely on meticulous observations of an object's position in relation to background stars. Without superior telescopes, it may take centuries for this subtle shift to become apparent. Using simulations of the approaching collision and merger of Andromeda and the Milky Way, Loeb and later postdoc TJ Cox used estimates of Andromeda's proper motion. Their findings indicated a more than reasonable likelihood of the two galaxies colliding, as well as a reasonable likelihood that the solar system would be pushed into the periphery of the new elliptical galaxy, which Loeb dubbed Milcomeda. The collision calculations were redone in 2012 by a group of astronomers from the Space Telescope Science Institute, who used direct measurements of Andromeda's proper motion this time. The scientists employed the Hubble Space Telescope and an observing program that utilized years of data, starting with photographs taken in 2002, to obtain those measurements after all those years. We compared images taken at different times with the Hubble Space Telescope and measured how much the Andromeda stars have moved relative to the fuzzy galaxies in the distant background, says astronomer Sangmo Tony Son. This gives us a sense of how fast the Andromeda stars moved across the sky. The crew came to the conclusion that Andromeda's correct motion was extremely little, making a head-on collision all but certain. Although merging galaxies can sound a little frightening, it really happens rather frequently. Astronomer Halton Arp included a number of galactic interactions in his 1966 book Atlas of Peculiar Galaxies which featured photos of distant mergers and collisions taken by the Hubble Space Observatory. They are all quite attractive. The duo will continue to come together and fly apart for ages, rearranging constellations and jumbling stars until, after about a billion years, the two galaxies unite. When the Milky Way and Andromeda collide and merge, a large elliptical galaxy is created giving the solar system a new location in the cosmos. This is a true scientific forecast. It's not a science fiction chapter. The third episode of Cosmos, a space-time odyssey, focused on how science might predict such events. It was a mathematical grasp of the physical principles governing the motions of celestial bodies that allowed Newton to explain the orbits of planets, Halley to predict the return of his own comet, and modern astronomers to predict the end of the Milky Way. Using nothing more than Newton's law of gravitation, we astronomers can confidently predict that several billion years from now, our home galaxy, the Milky Way, will merge with our neighboring galaxy, Andromeda, host Neil deGrasse Tyson says. Because the distances between stars are so great compared to their sizes, few, if any, stars in either galaxy will actually collide. Any life on the worlds of that far-off future should be safe, but they will be treated to an amazing billion-year-long light show. The situation is similar to a batter viewing an incoming fastball in baseball. Despite Andromeda's more than 2,000-fold quicker approach, it will be 4 billion years before the strike occurs. It will take the interacting galaxies another 2 billion years after the encounter to fully merge under the pull of gravity and reshape into a single elliptical galaxy 
similar to the kind frequently found in the local universe, according to computer calculations based on Hubble's observations. Despite the fact that the galaxies will collide, the stars within each galaxy are so far apart that they won't crash with one another. However, the new galactic center will force the stars into various orbits. Simulations indicate that, compared to now, the solar system will be thrown significantly farther from the galactic center. M31's tiny companion, the Triangulum Galaxy, M33, will also be involved in the collision and may eventually merge with M31 and the Milky Way, further complicating matters. It's possible that M33 will collide with the Milky Way first. Although mergers won't produce noticeable changes in a person's lifetime, they may nonetheless present astronomers with exciting chances. Being alone in an unconnected galaxy can be a drawback. For instance, due to the presence of too much gas and dust, Earth's location in the Milky Way does not provide the finest vistas for studying our galaxy. To understand the behavior and evolution of spiral galaxies, like the one we live in, we must research other spiral galaxies. However, you'd be able to study that a lot easier than you can your own galaxy if there was another spiral galaxy that much closer to you, and it was tilted in such a way that you could see most of it. The night sky would simply be too crowded to examine very distant sights, making it frustrating for an astronomer to be in the thick of a galactic merger. It would be challenging to locate lines of sight in such a setting that are unaffected by the luminous merging system that would serve as our home. Someone else may have gazed at the Milky Way while perched in the midst of a brilliant cosmic collision and let out a long sigh while speculating about what it may be like. The good news is that even if galaxies are merging, stars are so far away that the likelihood of stellar collisions is low according to the experts. The Andromeda Galaxy collides head-on with the Milky Way in the simulation's worst-case scenario, scattering the stars into various orbits. Both galaxies' stellar populations are displaced, and the Milky Way loses its characteristic pancake-like form, with the majority of its stars orbiting on nearly circular paths. The stars settle into erratic orbits as the centers of the galaxies merge, giving rise to an elliptical galaxy. Therefore, even though Earth will no longer be able to call the Milky Way home, it seems likely that the Sun and its planets will survive the birth of Milkomeda. We won't be living in a spiral galaxy any longer. Milkomeda will be elliptical in shape and likely appear to be red. Therefore, there is no doubt that this merger will be a spectacle. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing